I honestly don't know truly where this is gonna where this is gonna go, how it's gonna sound, or where it's gonna end. But something inside of me keeps telling me to turn my camera on and start recording because somebody needs to hear this. And that's what I do. I just listen to myself and I listen to my heart and I listen to my intuition. And if something is coming out, then I just let it come out. And um, this is where we are. So, hello, welcome back. And today I wanna talk about the courage, the courage to be disliked. So I've been reading this book and it's titled The Courage to Be Disliked. I cannot remember the author's name, which is terrible because it's a great book, so I should remember that. But we'll definitely link it below for folks that are interested. So I've been listening to the audiobook. I'm just about finished with it. And I just casually read audiobooks first and then like if it's really good the second time through, I actually like study it. So I think this one I will study because it is very like, it's like packed with so much good information. So um, this past weekend, actually, I witnessed that I did have the courage to be disliked. So during a conversation I was having with mutual friends and loved ones or whatever, just folks that I like to hang around, um, I had the unpopular opinion in the conversation. And then on top of that, there was some drinking involved. So I was very blunt about my unpopular opinion. And I am very confident that there was a certain point where those folks did not like me and just was like, who and what and what is wrong with him? And I was okay with that. I was completely okay with that. And I think it's because of this book. And I'm coming to you all today and I'm just wondering, what are you sacrificing? of yourself because you want to be liked. Is there any piece or part of you that you are withholding, holding back, not allowing to come into its true fruition? That's the word. Y'all gotta pray for me. I'm still learning. I use these big words every once in a while and then sometimes I'll be forgetting what they actually are. But um, what part of you are you holding back because you are afraid that it will not be liked? What opinion do you have? What piece do you have to add to a conversation? What part of you are you hiding because you are afraid that people will not like it? And I mean, it's completely fine if you are like, no, they won't like it. So I'm going to hold it in. I'm not going to express it. I'm not going to say it. Just keep the peace. But are you keeping the peace? I think not. I think you're keeping the peace for everybody else. And in the process, you're sacrificing yourself. You are being a martyr. You are rejecting your your peace. You are restricting your freedom. And that's what kept coming up for me, especially with this topic. And as I'm reading this book, and I'm just like, this book is amazing. Like, I'm definitely gonna do a video about this book. Um, and I highly encourage you guys to check it out. It just opens your mind to so many different things. Like, I try to read an audiobook every, like, once every two weeks now. It's like, I'm getting pretty good at that. But I can not read fast at all, so audiobooks is where it's at. But, um, yeah, freedom. That's what kept coming up for me. It was like, having the courage to be the dislike gave me freedom. And in this moment, that past moment this weekend, I felt free. I didn't feel like I was sacrificing a part of myself or a piece of myself or holding something in to make everybody else uncomfortable while I sat there and was uncomfortable. I didn't have to be uncomfortable just because I had an opinion that was not liked or popular or what everybody else agreed with. And that's when things got interesting. The conversation got better, it got juicier. Of course it got a little tense and then we were able to bring it back down. But yeah, it just, it helped, first of all, open up their mind it helped to open up my mind and in the end I feel like for me I walked away with growth now whether or not those folks like me not still or not that is neither here or there and that's something else that this book talks about is first of all nobody likes nobody completely 100% and if you think you do then that person this is just me talking might not be their true authentic selves they might have adapted to be who you need them to be and they want you to be in your in their they want you to be in their life so bad that they are willing to camouflage and be whoever you need them to be to me that is scary because you don't know who that person truly is they are just everything that you need them to be so as soon as they decide that they no longer want to be your everything then they're just going to yeah, and your world is gonna be, dude, that's just gonna do like a whole 360. But the book talks about how like, there's so many just people out here, there's so many groups, there's so many communities, and it's like, you do not have to feel bound and stuck to one. There's so many people out here that we have access to, to meet, to converse with, to talk to, to befriend, and especially like, I just learned this um, in the comments, talking to someone, and it's like, we have all this technology, why not use it to its advantage to meet other folks? Like, what else is it? here for you know they're already benefiting
benefiting and profiting off of us astronomically. <laughs> so why not we utilize this com this the this technology to you know connect and bond and build communities? And that's something that I love about my page is I feel like I'm finding folks that not every you guys don't agree with everything that I have to say, and you're not all like we're not all in sync and the same and together. But we all have this like we had these conversations, these hard conversations, these weird conversations, these uncomfortable conversations, and we just throw it all on the table. And I pick up what I want to pick up and can I can take away and you pick up what you want to pick up and what you can take away but it's like at the end of the day there's just growth from there and my biggest thing also like I keep saying is that freedom like that freedom comes back and that's what I love about this book is it's like breathing breath back into me like it's okay to not be liked by everybody to you do not have to please everybody and unfortunately that was taught to me at a young age because my parents were very religious and for me and I don't want to step on anybody's toes but I just you know I speak my truth from my perspective regardless because they're a Christian Christianity just it teaches you at least from my perspective what I learned from it, it was it teaches you to sacrifice everything and give to everybody else just like Jesus did where he I mean he died on the cross for all of us in Christianity that's what they believe and um that is like what they embody that's what they want to be that's what they vision for themselves is just self-sacrifice at least the way my parents taught it to me the way that when I went to church how they taught it from to me and I'm just like at first I mean obviously now looking back I'm just like wow that sounds not right or not okay and that does not resonate with me but when I was younger I thought that was what I was supposed to do so that is what I did and then on top of that I was trained to do that if I didn't do that I was like scolded I was told what are you doing why aren't you doing that you're supposed to be doing this so it is ingrained in me to sacrifice myself everything that everything that I am who I am my feelings and just completely disregard them and take care for everybody else put out for everybody else and my favorite analogy is fill your cup up first and give people the overflow so if my cup isn't full I can't give anybody anything because to be quite honest even when I was doing it before and my cup was empty and I'll explain it a little bit later um well in the, just a second my cup was empty and I was trying to give to people I would be mad like I would be mad I would be um, just pissed off at them I would be irritated I just would not like that person and it was because I felt like I had to I didn't have a choice but to put them first they were making me put them first and I secretly like just resented them for that so that destroyed a lot of my relationships and now fast forward to today I'm able to fill my cup I prioritize filling my cup every day before I do anything for anybody else because if I don't fill my cup up I'm not going to be able to unconditionally give I'm not I'm going to be expecting something back from that person or I'm going to be upset with that person like it's not going to be a true unconditional loving gift from me to somebody else if I do not fill up my cup so filling up my cup for those that do not know or have never heard this analogy it's not an analogy whatever this like term or whatever filling up your cup means taking care of yourself like self-love like making sure you are fully full up to par whatever that means whatever that looks like so that you feel good so that you are taken care of that means physically mentally doctor's appointments going to the gym eating right mental health which is the biggest one for me like I need space for me to fill up my cup every morning I have to take at least 10 minutes to myself to either meditate look at a list of things that I want to do today what I want to accomplish what I did yesterday I just need 10 15 minutes to just like just me time nobody else and the gym is another thing in the morning I need to go to the gym just like just get a nice adrenaline rush just burn some sweat like just wake up feel motivated and it's little stuff like that that fills my cup up so that when someone needs something from me I can say yes I can make my yeses mean yes and my no's mean no and if I have to say no I have to say no I just don't have the room or the capacity today to help you out but um yeah I don't know I just wanted to get on here and talk about the courage to be disliked and I was just kind of curious to know if folks also have this problem this issue have you thought about it do you not agree with it do you feel like you have to have at least some people that you that they have to like you all the time that you can't not operate or survive or live being disliked how does that show up for other people and what does that look like because I'm still learning and growing in this space as I just said I'm reading this book that's giving me a lot of insight onto it and um yeah this is just one of those conversations that I want to have especially from my community's perspective as gay folks I feel like we already kind of were pulled away from our parents not all of us but some of us me specifically pulled away from our 
parents where relationships are strained mainly because our sexuality does not coincide with their religious beliefs so like parents family not close to them so you venture out into this world not only taking care of yourself trying to figure out how to take care of yourself and just survive you also are in this need and search of community and trying to feel this sense of belonging so you might naturally find yourself in relationships where you are sacrificing who you are to be liked because you don't want to be alone and I definitely touched on this in the last video one of the last videos that I had uploaded because loneliness is something that is I don't know I feel like it's always at the core of what motivated me and still at, th at times motivates me to do what I do so yeah Talk to me in the comments below and remember like I always say you never know what you say is going to click for somebody else like these I don't want to say kids because I don't want to like make them feel like they're like I'm putting them down but the younger generation not even that I'm that old but like the kids growing up gay kids specifically I like do this for them too just so that they have something to look at moving forward because this is what I use to help myself and grow my identity and learn about myself and love myself so you never Never know what comment that you say or what you comment on or like or whatever just what you add to the table from your perspective will click better for somebody else or how you say it might be better for somebody else um so yeah i encourage you to talk to me down below um to help me out help them out and to kind of build some type of like healthy community where we debate have conversation learn from each other and just grow together that's it do you have the courage to be disliked and um yeah Everyone take care and remember to be the change you wish to see.